These are some of my favorite and most used action camera accessories. All of these are linked in the description. Some of them were sent to me and some of them I purchased myself and I'll try and tell you which ones were which just so we're clear. This accessory is a weird one because I don't use it all the time, but when I do use it, it's absolutely fantastic. And that's this dome, which is for 50-50 shots, which means you get half of the camera or half of the visibility above the water and half below. But because it has this dome, it pushes the water away from the camera enough that you can actually see the water line and come up with some spectacular photos or videos of half above and half down like you're seeing here. This one costs $50. It's from Telson, which it's really nice. They've actually asked me a couple of times to send me one and I said no every time just because I didn't want to commit to, commit to doing anything, but then I ended up buying it because it actually was pretty nice. Now the biggest downside of this is that because this big acrylic dome here or polycarbonate dome, whatever it's made out of, uh, while it is really nice and clear, it can scratch really easily. So you definitely want to make sure you have this to keep it safe. But basically you put your action camera in, the GoPro 10, 11 and 12 will fit in the one linked below and then close it up. And now you have a waterproof action camera that can get really great 50-50 shots. But if you use an action four, this one will also work for the Action 4. You just have to fit it in there and then close it up. And because it has little foam padding on the back here, it actually holds the camera in place and puts it right where it needs to be to be able to get some really cool 50-50 shots. As much as I used to make fun of people who use selfie sticks, they've actually become one of my most used accessories. They allow a couple of things. One, you can push the camera a little farther away from you and capture more of the scene around you, which is really nice. And because they give you so much more reach, you can almost use your action camera like a drone or be able to put the action camera in places that you couldn't possibly reach any other way. But they also allow you to hold the action camera in a much more natural way, which means you can hold it up like this instead of having to hold your arm up like this while you're talking to the camera the whole time. And that makes it really nice. It makes it feel a lot more natural when you're talking to the camera. Both DJI makes a really great one that comes with the adventure combo for the Action 4, but also Insta360 makes a really nice one that I've been using for years and it's been one of my favorites for a long time. I highly recommend you get a little tripod for the bottom so that if you wanna walk away from the action camera, you can just simply set it up and then walk away and uh, the action camera will stay there. Now there are lots of cheap options out there, but honestly, both of these have been really rugged, very durable, and I would highly recommend them. The cheaper ones seem to fall apart pretty quick. If you're doing very much with action cameras, you're probably gonna wanna get a POV shot, which is essentially you put the camera here and it looks like you're going or maybe hold it in your mouth. And it looks like exactly what you would see from your eyes and it gives people that first person view. And while for years GoPro has had the chesty strap, I absolutely hate it because of how you have to put it on. It's really weird and uncomfortable. And then if you're filming yourself while you actually have this on, it looks really strange. So I don't like that one. Ulanzi sent this to me a few months back and I've been using it a bit, which is really nice because it just goes around the neck like that, super easy. And then of course, if you have the Action 4, it clicks in like that and makes it really quick and easy to get that POV shot. Now it's not as stable or it's not as strapped on as heavy or as hard as the chesty strap is, but it does get nice POV shots if you're just walking around. I would say for any sort of hard action sports, you're probably gonna wanna stick with the chesty mount, but it's nice. It just has this little button here that pops off so you can put it around your neck. And then if you're wanting to take this mount out, say you just wanna pull the camera off or you've got it attached to the GoPro, they made a really easy magnetic way that it just clicks in by doing a quarter turn. So that's nice. Also in the POV category is the mouth holder, which is really nice for certain types of shots, especially if you're doing something where you're looking around at a lot of things. And this one from Insta360 is really nice. Just goes in the mouth like that. These actually heat form to your teeth. So you put them in hot water for a few minutes and then you put them on your teeth or you bite down on them and it makes a nice formation. So it clicks in your mouth really nice. But this one has come in really handy on some ice climbing trips when I didn't have time to hook up a chest strap or because the chest strap or the neck strap would interfere with the other ropes and safety equipment that was on. Action camera battery life has been getting better and the Action 4 really set a new standard. The GoPro Hero 12 seems to be catching up there as far as the battery life length, but you're still gonna probably want several batteries. And one of the, my biggest pet peeves is having to use the camera itself to recharge the batteries. One, it takes away the waterproof ability of the camera, so you can't have it out in rain or anything like that, but then it also ties up your camera while it's recharging. So I highly recommend if you get the adventure combo with the Action 4, you're gonna get this nice battery case, which tells you what's charged and what's not. 
And for GoPro, they sell this double battery charger, which usually comes with a battery or two and is really nice to have a couple of extra batteries to be able to recharge batteries while you're also still using the action camera. Makes it uh, definitely worthwhile in my opinion. All action cameras these days have screens on sometimes front and back, but they all have touch screens for being able to control the settings and a lot fewer buttons, which we could debate the good and the bad parts of that, but one of my must have accessories for action cameras is a screen protector and or a lens protector. Now I don't usually do the lens protector because these are easily replaceable. The GoPro Hero 8 was a whole different story, but it is a really good idea to have a screen protector on the back so that you protect this touchscreen because it takes almost nothing at all to break this back screen and then basically really screw up your camera where you have to send it in and get it replaced or maybe just get a whole new camera depending on how bad it breaks. Next, you're gonna wanna watch this video right here. As always, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and let me know if there's accessories you use like crazy that I didn't mention in this video. Otherwise, you can join my live stream Wednesday nights at 4 p.m. Alaska time, 8 p.m. Eastern when we can have more of a conversation. Maybe you get to questions I didn't get to in this video. I'll see you again soon in the next video. Cheers.